but like what's the philosophy like y'all you pair the tonic herbs with the super you know like with a whatever like you i know you have a certain philosophy there so what is that yeah and and related to that question it's a really good question because w- there are thousands of herbs that are beneficial to us we know of maybe 50 or 60 that are adaptogens that's h- how small a group is there undoubtedly are many more that we just don't are not aware of and all herbs um, it is very possible that each herb can have one or two of those characteristics. I mentioned five. So plants all have their characteristics. And, and we'll often say, oh, this is a quite an adaptogenic herb, but it, if it doesn't have that complete balance, balance is the key, then it's not going to be an adaptogen. That really is the difference maker. Dr. Allison would say it this way, it, if it modulates the HPA access, the hypothalamus pituitary adrenals and how that, how that works in concert, in her mind, that's one of the key indicators or that gives it away that it's an adaptogen. Our philosophy is to always have a strong core of adaptogens first, and then to carefully pair other herbs if needed, uh, according to the purpose of that product. So we might have, you know, a gut microbiome like our ProBio IQ that is about repopulating the gut with friendly flora and with sharpening the function of the brain. So we'll look at herbs, both adaptogens and non-adaptogenic that play well together to um, to to fulfill that objective. And, and really our philosophy is to be as complete as possible and to always have a, a fairly significant variety of ingredients given that we're all different. And that's another strong, that's that's something built over 30 years in me. I have a really hard time when someone will take a product that's one thing and say, this fixes everything for everybody. Because the truth is, you know, first of all, the truth is always plenty good enough when it comes to herbs. They're so amazing. And particularly adaptogens, the, the truth is more than good enough without exaggerating. So we will add other herbs in to uh, complete the nutrition for whatever we are trying to address. And philosophically, that will be dominated by adaptogens, but include several, as, as Erica mentioned, could be tonic herb, it could be more of the, the soap herbs, the saponins or bitters that are a little more cleansing. It could be some of them that are more warming and heating that have those volatile, um, essential, um, what we call volatile oils, not you know, essential oils would be the topical version of that. Or it could be um, the healing, soothing type, which are your mucilaginous herbs. And these are these are kind of how I collect them in my brain that are back, uh, that are about tissue repair and about terrain repair. We try to get a balance looking at all four of those areas in each formula. And, and hence, you they, they can be fairly involved, the decisions, the decision tree on what we ultimately put in a formula. I love that. And I love that um, uh, explanation as well. And also, it reminds me, um, what's interesting, I always love, and we say it all the time, like, basically, you know, the answer in soul is always yes. Like, will this product help with this? Yes. Right. Like, and, um, but I love that because just in your explanation of your, you know, core formulation philosophy is that essentially, like, even though it might be formulated for one thing, it benefits so many things, not just the brain, the body, but like so many different symptoms are going to be, you know, checked off from that. And, um, what I love about that is the reason why, um, like you take something and you feel it. Right. And oftentimes, especially with a drink, you'll take, you'll feel it within, you know, 20, 30 minutes um, because it's affecting so many different processes in the body all at one time.